All right, everyone. Welcome back to KB Reptiles. I'm sorry. We're sorry. We're both sorry. It's It's been a little while. Like, it's been a minute. And um, honestly, things have just been crazy busy. And I can't believe it's been like two weeks since we put out a video. I don't even know how that happened. I didn't even do my hair, guys. No. I had to put I like, on two. That's how busy yeah, it's Yeah. Well, actually, in all honesty, it's because he has this like man bun thing going on right now. And I just wouldn't let it happen in the video. <laughs> So anyways, we thought we'd take a minute and we know we've been like, we've been on the road, we've been to so many shows lately. I know the last few vlogs have been about the show. So yeah. we wanted to take a minute and actually kind of update you on a few things that have been going on here. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you two clutches that we haven't shown yet. We're still not 100% sure what's in these clutches. Yeah. So make sure you comment down below and let us know. If you guys have an opinion, once we tell you the pairing, once you see the hatchlings of the baby, please feel free to chime in, let us know what you think. And then we're gonna show you two updates in our reptile room. So I say I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna let Barros do the uh, showing off of the snakes. And again, we really don't know what these are. So you gotta help us out, please. And uh, yeah, let's get to this. And big oh. shout to the green colors today yeah stay 48 constriction addiction <laughs> guys make sure you check them out great people make sure you give them a follow all right guys so the first clutch i'm going to show you the one we're probably most confused about is a pewter pain to a pewter pin so there's a lot of combinations that could have came out of this i'm going to pull them out show you let me know what you think and we're going to show you on our beautiful green table all right guys so this little male right here we're not a hundred whoa Oh boy! He's feisty! Holy! We're not 100% sure what he- Oh! oh. Shoot, I'm backing up! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna put him down over here. So, <laughs> we're not sure. We think this might be something like a super pastel um, cine uh, or a super pewter. Uh, not 100% sure. This one's feisty. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it's like a white and gray type color. Um, Beautiful little one, but we are not sure exactly what we have over here. So that is male number one. All right, guys, so we have another one. Looks like it's gonna get the camera. So this one over here, oh, oh is a little male, and we think super pastel champagne maybe on this one. Uh, a little bit different is it doesn't have the whites like the other one did. So this is a very almost grayish, um, with a yellow stripe or a very beige type stripe. The head stamp is a little bit different. Again, not sure what we have. Combination was a pewter pinstripe to a pewter pane. Um, so we know it looks like this probably has champagne. Um, and we're thinking maybe super pastel. If you see anything, let us know. If you had some experience with that combination, let us know. Again, this is another male that came out of that clutch. All right, guys, so this is exactly like the first one that we showed. Uh, this one is a male again. We're thinking super pewter, uh, not 100% sure. This one a little bit different, has the gray dots that showed up on it. Looks like it might, might have wanted to be something else, but uh, beautiful snake nonetheless. You can almost see, and I know the camera won't do it, but there's this pattern trying to come through in here Head stamp is a little bit different than the last two that you saw. Beautiful looking animals though. All very feisty, all very good eaters. So this little female we're thinking is possibly a champagne pastel pinstripe. Um, way different than the other ones that you just saw. High yellow beige on the dorsal over there. Um, I, I don't even know what to say guys. We are so confused on this clutch. Have reached out to a few people, got some different opinions. Um, so we're just gonna let them grow up a little bit and see how they color out. Again, beautiful, love the dorsal, love the yellow in this one. Head stamps are again, similar yet different. Great looking babies. All right, everybody. So we're back onto a male again right now. This male, again, I don't know, slightly different than the last one we just showed you. Again, the same kind of yellow striping on the on the dorsal. Um, looks fantastic, ferocious eater, um, putting some great size on. But again, every one seems to be slightly different than the next. So again, if you guys can help us out, that would be great. Apologize for the shadows that are coming in. Uh, lighting is a little bit funky where we're trying to do this, but we're trying to show you guys what we got. 
<laughs> so, to finish off clutch number one, here it is, the gem of the clutch. Uh, had to put him down. This is a gray matter. Again, some people are asking if there's pastel in this. Not 100% sure. We know for sure based on the pattern, based on the combination, we're looking at a gray matter. Uh, this one over here is excited to say hi to everybody. All right, guys, so if anybody's worked with gray matter and has a pastel, can you please let us know if this has pastel in it or if this is just a gray matter with a lot of different funky coloring? This boy is a holdback. He will be staying with us. I hope his attitude improves because he's much like here. I mean, what? he. All right, so that is that clutch. Again, pewter pain to a pewter pin. If you guys can help us out, please help us out. Super excited about that one. Not sure what we're gonna keep or what we're gonna hold back. So again, comment down below. Let us know what you think. Let us know what looks interesting to you guys. We're gonna go on to the next clutch. And the next clutch, we're G-Stripe people here, so we love our genetic stripe stuff. And this one was a lesser het red exanthic G-Stripe to a pastel leopard het genetic stripe. So I will show you what we got in this clutch. So this guy's right here is a lesser het red exanthic 100% het genetic stripe. So that is a mouthful, but again, you can see the het red Oh, that one was gonna come after me. I think you can see the het red influence on the alien heads, on the pattern of this snake. Of course, you see the lesser in there. Beautiful snake. Not sure what we're doing with this one, but definitely right now is eating great, uh, looking good, and is ready to go back. All right, well, everybody, this is a male lesser het red exanthic G-stripe, we believe. Looks like mom, uh, in a sense, when mom was younger, hadn't quite yellowed up as much. We're not sure how yellow this one's gonna turn. Um, but again, just, I think it's the, the het red and the genetic stripe washing each other out. You can see on the base of the tail, it wanted to start a black line and then faded all the way out. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful looking snake. All right, guys, so we're not sure what this one is. It is a female, it is staying here. She is definitely a holdback. We think it's probably, Pastel Leo Het Red Exanthic G Stripe. If anybody can correct this, please let us know. Stunner. It looks like the solid black line just erupted all over the dorsal. Um, I've never seen anything like it before. You can see the black line started off solid on the tail almost and then just whacked out. Love this one. Hold back. It's a female. We're going to grow her up, see how she colors up. Ooh. See how she colors up and uh, see what she does for us in the future over here. All right, everybody, this one's going into shed, but it looks like the same as the first one, a lesser het red exanthic G-stripe. This one is a female. The first one that you saw was a male. So we're going to see again, almost not this one, not even uh, didn't even have any black outlining around the dorsal, um, around the stripe down the back and then turned into this beautiful silvery colored genetic stripe. Uh, I gotta tell you, we hit a lot of G-stripes in this clutch. So we are super excited about this one. Um, this one is in shed, so I'm gonna put her back. Don't know how I haven't got tagged yet, but I know it's gonna happen. Carrie's wishing it on me, we will see. I'm not wishing it, but there is a reason why I'm holding the camera and not holding these babies. <laughs> Okay, so we think this is the lesser G-stripe. So you can see the difference. This is missing the het red exanthic in it. So you can see how the silvery type color is almost gone. Now we're looking at a beige and almost highlighted yellow dorsal. Um, again, the lesser takes away the black outlining on the dorsal pattern. Um, great looking snake. Not sure what we're gonna do with this one, so some of these will be available. Feel free to contact us, we'll see what happens. So the last one in this clutch, everybody, is, um, I think, is a leopard genetic stripe. And the reason we say a leopard genetic stripe is the patterning along the side, um, all these dots that came in, uh, we're, we're thinking based on what we've seen before and what we have in our collection from the year before that this is indicating some leopard for us. The color is a different shade of brown than you would normally see on some of the genetic stripes. You can see the break in the dark solid line again on the dorsal. Um, again, if anybody's worked with it, has some experience with it, please let us know. This little guy is staying. Um, 
Again, I had to cheat and take a look, but yes, this is a boy. Um, he will be staying with us and excited if this turns out to be leopard genetic stripe to put this boy to a few girls when he's ready to go, guys. All right, so that was just a couple of clutches and uh, we're hoping to, you know, figure out some of these genetics. And uh, we are gonna do, probably coming up in the next few weeks, um, a 2019 holdback video um so that'll be exciting so we're gonna update you on a few other clutches and stuff too because we, we haven't even done that and crazy so anyways let's head over to the reptile room and show you a couple of our new reptiles we've picked up okay so we're here in the reptile room and i'm sorry i know we haven't done an update or a tour of the reptile room it is not my fault don't blame me anyways we will get to that video but we wanted to show you a couple of the new reptiles that we've picked up now both of these um, are from our good friend Don from pear tree pythons so thank you Don if you guys don't follow Don make sure that you do I'm gonna put his information in the description box down below no YouTube yet but he is on Facebook and Instagram so make sure you give him a follow uh, let's check these guys out first are a breeding pair of mainland Chihua geckos so let's grab them here is the female and she's absolutely beautiful and uh, we just we just love these guys she is just absolutely stunning we're so excited to have these guys in our collection and um, we're looking forward to maybe maybe breeding something else hey Barros? I think so all right guys and there's the male darker almost like a bronzy brown with a different shade of green altogether almost like an emerald green uh, love this guy he is amazing uh, can't wait to see what these two produce for us this year Again, big shout out to Pear Tree. Thank you very much. Love this guy. All right, guys. So this uh, little adorable little guy uh, you may have seen on Instagram, Velarde's Gecko or Chameleon Gecko, and it's full grown. Uh, this little guy is so cute. I just love them. There is a female in there, but she's in shed, so I'm going to leave her for now. Uh, but they're absolutely adorable. There's a little egg in their enclosure as well. They are a breeding pair. And uh, we're really excited to see what comes from these guys. But again, they're from Dawn at Pear Tree Pythons. You have to go give him a follow. He's got some amazing animals. And uh, check this out. He's so cute. All right, guys. So those were just two of the newest additions <laughs> to the reptile room. We are super excited. Have them here. Breeding season for them is going to kick off. And speaking of breeding season, ball python season for us just kicked off a couple of weekends ago. Um, we have had a couple of locks. Haven't showed them yet. Again, just mm -hmm. been super busy, guys, but stay tuned. Uh, we will update you on some locks that are coming up, some pairings are coming up. You guys can tell us what you think. Super excited for another great season. Absolutely. So thanks again for checking this out. And uh, don't forget to leave those comments down below on those snakes that we just showed you because we don't know what they are. Um, and uh, as oh, always, yeah. Wait, do we want to tell them or we'll just give them a hint? What? We have a road trip coming oh, up yeah. over here. Yeah. We're not going to say much, <laughs> but we have a road trip coming up. Stay tuned. It's going to be an awesome one. It's someone we have not had. Um, no, I lied. Yeah. It's someone we had had we on the vlog. We haven't visited yet. But we haven't <laughs> visited yet. So stay tuned for that one. It's going to be an awesome visit. We love bringing you guys, anybody we can go and see, check out collections. Um, we're all about trying to promote the hobby trying to show what we do, trying to show what everybody else is doing. Uh, we're super excited. Absolutely. So thanks again for checking us out, guys. And if you don't subscribe, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss when we upload a video. I promise it won't take two weeks next time. What happened? Anyways, don't forget we are on Instagram and Facebook, KB Reptiles 24. Check us out. Thank you to each and every one of you, and we hope you have an awesome day. Oh. And I'm going to put a little link in the bottom. Can you guys please go check oh, out the well, link geez. that will be down below? <laughs> it's going to be at Bengal Bruno. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> check it out. Barrows has been promoting my new cat page. Okay, we bought, got a new kitten. We're going to have to show them off in a different Yeah, video. so Anyways. guys, we won't even say anything else. Check out the link. If you guys like it, if you guys are cat lovers, go follow that page again. It's at Bengal Bruno. We'll have the information right about here. Are you done now? Yes. All right. We'll see you later, guys. <laughs> bye. See you, bye. <laughs>